Church, United Church of Christ. We are delighted that you chose to be with us this morning as we worship and seek inspiration from a God that we believe is still speaking and longs for us to listen and respond. No matter who, no matter what, no matter where we are on life's journey, notwithstanding race, gender, identity or expression, sexual orientation, class or creed, we all belong to God. And in our denomination, we believe that each person is unique and valuable, and it is the will of God that every person belong to a family of faith where they have a strong sense of being valued and loved. I hope that you will feel at home with us this morning. I want to extend a special welcome to members of the Sing to Live Community Chorus who are joining us today, and to Kevin McGaughan, our guest pianist. Thank you for worshiping with us. It is always a treat and a highlight 
even if it is Stewardship Sunday, which can sometimes be not as exciting for people. Uh, but you will help us make this a great day. I am so glad to see each of you here today. Let us join together as a community in worship. of our exuberant trust in God, 
there will be more than enough for the Church Universal and Pilgrim Church to do the powerful, life-giving ministry in this world that God is calling us to do. Can you think of a better lead-in to ask you to bring forward your annual pledge commitments of time, talent, and money? In fact, I could hear the musical cue in my head. The title of my sermon was going to be, How Can I Say Thanks? from the song, To God Be the Glory. But then, for those of you who look in the bulletin, you'll know that was not the title of my sermon. <laughs> what I realized was as I took a closer look at Psalm 145, I noticed the superscript, the, the words in really small letters um, above the psalm. It says, Praise of David. Now, of the 150 psalms, 117 have a superscription ranging from several lines to single lines. Psalm 145, our text for today, though, is the only psalm identified by its superscription as praise. And in fact, scholars lift it up as a model of praise, which led me to reflect upon the difference between praising God and thanking God. And I realize that because the two of them so often go hand in hand, I tend to think of them as one of the same. Because it seems like anytime we sing a song or join in prayer, we're doing both. We're praising God and thanking God. But then I thought if we need to do both, there must be some difference. And that difference might be important. One of the things that stands out in Psalm 145 is that the psalmist focuses all of his attention on God, not on himself or even on the things that God has done for him. Though the psalmist mentions God's works, it is only in the most general terms, and the emphasis is on what those works reveal about God. Praise, as the children said, is about recognizing and recalling elements of a character and in this case about God's character and nature. It expresses our awe for who God is, and it's the act of complimenting God for who God is, God's virtues. Today in our lectionary, Anne read part of Psalm 145, and in the verses that we skipped over, David gives us some examples of God's virtues, the basis for his praise, if you will. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all and has compassion over all of creation. The Lord is faithful in all words and gracious in all deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on her. So how does giving thanks differ from praise? Well, simply put, thanksgiving is simply saying thank you. Not for who God is, but rather for what God has done for you. We may thank God for the specific gifts and blessings we've received, throughout our lives, for instance, having enough to eat, a nice home, finding a good job, or saving a loved one from danger. At its heart, Thanksgiving is rooted in the gratitude one has for God for the things we've been given. But praise comes not from gratitude, but from insight into who God really is, or rather who we believe God to be. In thanksgiving, we list God's benefits. In praise, God is the benefit. In his book, Deepening Your Conversation with God, Ben Patterson illustrates the difference this way. Thanksgiving is like a child opening a gift from a parent, a new doll or a baseball mitt, and throwing her arms around her mom and dad and saying, thank you, thank you, this is just what I wanted, it's wonderful. Praise is what happens when that child can pause, look up from the gift, 
and into her folks' eyes and say, you are wonderful. Both thanks and praise are essential parts of our worship and journey as Christians. And some of you may remember this simple prayer that you might have learned as a child. God is great. God is good. Let us thank God for this food. Amen. And that prayer is deceptively simple because it's easy to say, yet it says so much. In saying God is great, we're speaking to God's authority and power. But the greatness of God without the goodness of God is fatalism. Key to our faith is the message that this powerful God acts on our behalf and our good. So God loves us and cares about us. And that is what we mean when we say God is good. It's no accident that the next line in the child's prayer is a response of gratitude. If you trust that God is great and that God is good, the only response we can have is to be thankful for food and for everything else. But as I've gotten older, I've noticed that my prayers have become longer and more complex than that simple child's grace. As I reflected on this psalm, I realized that many times my prayer skews more towards a focus on thanksgiving and less on praise. For instance, I might open with a general notion of honor and glory to God, but the meat of my prayer, the body of it, is most likely focused on something like thanking God, lamenting or complaining to God, or asking God for something. But if thanks and praise go hand in hand, why might it be so easy for me to say thanks to God? and less top of mind and more challenging for me to praise God. I realize I actually find it pretty easy to say thank you to a lot of people during the regular course of my day. Not just to God, but to everyone who does something nice to me, whether it's holding open the door or letting me cut in line when I only have two items and they have a full basket full at the grocery store. I even say thank you when people are just doing their jobs, but I want them to know that I appreciate them. When a waiter fills my water glass, or the taxi driver puts my luggage in the trunk. But praise, on the other hand, is something I give out much more sparingly. It's usually to someone that I know well, or at least well enough to be confident that they actually exhibit the qualities or behaviors that I'm praising. I want to know that they've earned it. And praise is centered on them, who they are, not what they've done for me. I realize that a disproportionate percentage of my praise actually goes to my children, leading me to question, who do I praise more, my children or my God? I've come to realize that there's an intimacy with praise that isn't necessarily always present when simply saying thanks. Authentic praise requires a depth of relationship. In particular, authentically praising God requires a willingness to acknowledge the power and presence of God. And, I, and for me to admit, for us to admit, that we aren't always at the center of everything. The world doesn't revolve around me. And although intellectually I know that's true, sometimes I wish it did, and I'm pretty sure I act like that. There's some things that are beyond my control, and I gladly thank God for seeing me through. But praise is more proactive and offers the benefit of refocusing our minds on God, increasing our awareness of God's presence with us, and pushing our worries of this life to the background, if only for the moment. When we praise God, we recall who God is, has always been, and will always be. And this provides the hope and reassurance that God will be God, and in God's time, all will be well. It is right that we acknowledge that God is great, God is good, and that we thank God. 
but as Maureen did, I challenge all of us to get to know God just a bit better about thinking about some of the specific attributes of God that touch you the most. What do you admire about God? What do you love about God? What excites you so much about God that you feel compelled to tell others? And I challenge you to not only think about these things, but to actually incorporate them into your conversations or prayers with God. And not in some sort of laundry list fashion, but perhaps lifting up one or two attributes of God that you want to praise each time you pray. Be specific, similar to the way we are when we praise our children. And slowly, you may see that your perception of God broadens. Your relationship and willingness to depend on God grows, and your anxiety about what's going on in the world becomes easier to manage. Even though we continue to live in times of distress, we can all look back and see how God has brought us along this way. And while we continue to pay, pray for wars to end and for justice to prevail, we can see where we are headed. Let the church praise God with the enthusiasm of the Psalms. Let joy prevail even in the face of hardship. For God is great. God is good. For this and all God's many blessings, we give thanks. Amen. On behalf of Melinda Harris, our founder and the Sing to Live Community Chorus, we say thank you today. We thank you for rehearsal space. Thank you for being a family to Sing to Live.
Before we go, we want to once again offer our thanks and praise to Sing to Live and to Kevin, who has done double duty as our witness today as well as the Sing to Live. And as part of our appreciation for Sing to Live, we have prepared a little something for you down in Fellowship Hall. Um, so we, we hope that you will enjoy that. And now, as we go from here, remember this. The God we serve is merciful and compassionate, endlessly patient, full of faithful love, and worthy to be praised. So go out in confidence, knowing that God goes with you.